All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Hashem, Gadash. The one who the apostles in the old is a great millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole elect. You brothers and you sisters, how hardly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. This video will be entitled, The Spirit of Egypt Shall Fail. And this is Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the, the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. So I'm bringing this out because, uh, you know, today is uh, July 4th, so-called Independence Day, right? This is supposed to be one of the uh, memorials of America, right? Where people gather, you know, you get together with your family, y'all cook, barbecue, pop, you know, light fireworks, et cetera, et cetera. But if, if you're really looking around, especially in the hoods, you know, uh, predominantly Jake neighborhoods, it's very quiet, man. You might hear a few pops here and there, but you know, there was a time, shit, even last year, you, you heard all kind of fireworks and booms and, and, and bangs. And you know, every, every corner you go down, you, you saw Jake barbecuing, right? You don't even smell uh, <laughs> barbecue right in the air you know uh, usually you you, uh, you be driving you may have the windows rolled down you know you just catch a whiff of somebody barbecuing like you don't hey, everything associated with this so-called uh holiday is uh is, is uh you know is through the lord is systematically destroying this place people are broke right the the spirit of uh so-called independence day is, is, is it ain't it man you know, even Esau Edom, uh, you don't even see Esau Edom, uh, you know, they got their little American flag, you know, uh, wardrobe on or whatever, but, uh, hey, this ain't it, man, <clears throat> right, the Lord, uh, the Lord is destroying this place, man, and then, hey, right, right, rightly so, call Hello Yahweh Bashem Yahweh for, you know, uh, keeping his word, man, you know, the Lord keep, kept his word, he's gonna continue to, uh, you know, destroy this place slowly and gradually. You know, people are are, are going to uh, you know crave uh, uh, <laughs> release, so to speak. Right? Because living in Babylon is not fun. Being in Babylon is not fun no more. Uh, you know, people are used to partying and, and uh, going out. Um, you know, these different holidays. They used to be an escape for Jake. Right, especially after the uh, presidential debate, how they saw their 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 Lord and Savior Joe Biden uh, completely fumble the bag uh, with his uh, his his mumbling and and, and, and and you know lost track mind. Right, they they see the the future of this place is is is, uh, is not there, man. Right, and that that goes hand in hand with the precept Ecclesiastes. 12 and 1. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse. Oh shit. It's locked in. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Now this is uh, di directed to you Israelites, right? Because the creator, uh, you know, he's only really dealing with us. He's only really dealing with us, and he's only truly dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? So, you have to remember your creator right now. Right now, and even now, to this day, and continuing forward, there's going to be days where you're not going to be, you're not going to have desire to, to, to live and in, in, in in so-called, you know, uh, prosper in these days. Right? Because why? There's no pleasure in them. People in uh, Babylon have been trained and have been molded to value pleasure versus uh, uh, discipline, logic, you know, restraint. You see? So when the time of uh, uh, displeasure comes and uncomfortability and, and, and whatnot, uh, people are not going to, you know, they're not going to want to unalive themselves. They're going to want to uh, do any and everything possible to retain some of that uh, comfort. 
You see? Verse 12, or 2. Are the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened or the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinding grinders cease because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened. You see? Because you got, um, you know, uh, a lot of people not working. You know, a lot of these people on these benefits, Section A, uh, food stamps, WIC, etc., etc., SNAP. You see? And then when you say, uh, when it says, uh, look out the windows and be darkened, the windows represents uh, your future. You see? They, they don't see a, a clear cut future in this place. Why? Because uh, inflation, the, uh, the, the, the housing market is at an all time high. You know, um, people aren't able to save like how they want to, you know. So this is America. You know that song by Childish Gambino, this is America, right? Uh, this is verse four. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low. He shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Now the doors of music shall be brought low. You don't hear people blasting music. You don't hear people, uh, you know, and then too, the, the vibration of the music is, is it has dwindled, you know. So uh, the spirit of Egypt is failing. And we know that America is spiritually Egypt. When you go to Revelation 11 chapter, the dead body shall lie in a great city, which is spiritually known as Solomon, Egypt. You see? So yeah, hey, call all y'all about some y'all shot, man. The water y'all about some y'all shot. This is nothing but prophecy. We're witnessing the, the fall of Babylon right before our face. And hey, shit. We're, we're so close to getting up out of here, man. You know, we're so close to getting up out of here. It's all just a matter of time. You know, be thankful for the Lord that we have this truth because everybody else in the world, they don't know what the fuck is going on. They don't even have a spark of, of, of understanding of, of, of what to do, how how to do it, you know, we have the understanding. You know, we got the scriptures. We know it's we know it's about to come to Babylon. We 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 know and understand and believe what's about to happen to this place. And because these people don't have that, they they have no comfort. That's why they they turn to drugs. They turn to. Uh, you know, drunkenness, they turn to harlots, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they indulge in all these different things within the flesh, but it is to no avail, because when, when, when they sober up, when they don't have money left, that's when reality starts to kick in. When there's no distractions, reality starts to kick in. You see? So we're, 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 in, some, we're in some beautiful times, man. As men of the Lord, as, as children of the Most High, right? We got next. Call hello, y'all, Bashem y'all, So this is something quick through the Spirit. I just wanted to touch on that. Giving all praises again to Yahweh, Bashem y'all, Shai, Bashem Kadash, Shalom.